Today we're doing a movie from the Kelvin universe, Star Trek from 2009. What'd you think about today's movie? Take it away. Star Trek 2009 Kelvin timeline video or movie number one. I give it an eight out of 10. I so want to give it a nine out of 10, but I just, I can't. Why? There's just so many plot problems, but I love it. This is one of my favorite movie experiences all, of all time, I'll say. But that, that, the more I think about it, the more there are, there are plot problems. The time travel is a mess. The whole story is kind of messy, but I honestly don't care that much. The theater experience was so awesome. Every time I rewatch it, the emotions, the, the ride, the story, it just oh, going through, it's like a, a thrill ride. Uh, there's there's great casting, great directing. It's, it's, it's awesome. I just don't want to think too hard every time I watch it. I so, so want to give this a nine, but I got to go with an eight because of those story problems. So for me, eight out of 10, what'd you think? I give it a nine out of 10. I give it a nine out of 10 because it is one of the greatest opening scenes I have ever seen. So in, in the first first 15 minutes, 20, whatever the, the opening scene, there's birth, there's death, there's battle, there's impossible odds while you maintain composure. And, the, and ultimately with, with Kirk's dad sacrificing himself for the safety and for the survival of his entire crew. This just mm -hmm. hits, it hits on so many emotional levels. It's just, it's so satisfying. I remember being in the theater and, and as soon as the, as soon as the opening credits started, I was like, this is going to be a good movie. Like I, I like said it really quietly in the theater, but like I knew it right away. There's great casting, great casting. Like the, the actors fit the parts very nicely and the characters, the characters are super fun. So like a very enjoyable movie that I can I can have fun with, and and it's good pacing. There is little bits of lulls here and there, but they make sense. They make sense why there should be a little bit of a lull in the middle of the movie before it, before it picks back up and the stakes are big. It really felt like a big movie. It felt like this could be the end of the Federation. That's exactly what I want from a summer blockbuster. Super fun, and the characters. The characters have clearly defined personalities, clearly defined motivations, and their actions make sense given that those are those are those that that. Those are the people, the cons. The cons is that Starfleet is nearly destroyed by Nero, but is Nero some master tactician? Is he some clever genius? Is he, or even if he, if he, is he some like super powerful war hero? Like he's just a miner. Like he just, and, and his strategies are actually very poor. He could have done a lot more for the Romulan empire if he had just not sat around for 25 years, super weird. And then also these two ships from the future, Spock ships and Nero ship, I, I want them to be captured by the Federation so badly because it would, it would represent a huge leap forward in technology, but instead they both get destroyed. I think that's weird, but sure, whatever. Overall, nine out of 10, super fun movie. Love it. 